Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about the client directed flow of Azure Container Apps. Now in my previous video I have explained how this authentication feature works in Azure Container Apps and the feature architecture as well. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch that before continuing this video. Now in this video I'm going to first explain how this flow works architecturally and after that I'm going to show you how to authenticate, how to secure your API using the client directed flow. The authentication provider that I'm going to use for this flow is Google. So let's get started. Now let's have a look at the client directed flow. Now in my previous video, I have shown you how server directed flow works. You can use server directed flow for browser based applications. Here we have the client directed flow. We can use client directed flow to authenticate mobile applications to APIs. Now if you look at the diagram that I've hand drawn, we have three architectural components. First we have your mobile app and then we have the container app and we have the identity provider. The mobile application here wants to talk to the container app, the application, the API that we have hosted in this container here. And we have the authentication middleware that acts as a proxy when you enable authentication feature. Now for this mobile application to talk to this container app, the mobile application has to follow three step process. First, it has to actually get the token from the identity provider. This could be Google or Twitter, could be Microsoft Azure Active Directory. First, it has to get the access token from this provider. It has to manage the flow, unlike in server directed flow. After getting the access token, the mobile app should submit that access token to the container app. The container app then validates the token because it has the client secret and all the other configurations required for it to validate the token. It gives a response back to the mobile application and that response contains an access token. With that access token, you can access your API. All right, now this is the high level architecture of this flow. Let's have a more deeper understanding of these steps. Now this is the step one, acquiring the access token. For the demo in this video, I'm going to use Google and here your mobile application has to implement the whole auth flow to get the access token. Now this is the flow that I'm following in this video, auth2 for mobile and desktop apps. Now this is basically the authorization code flow with proof key for code exchange or PIXI as you can see here. This is the flow that I'm using. You can look into this later if you want to learn more about this but that is not the goal of this video. So let me go back. You need to follow the standard auth flow to acquire access token in client directed flow. And after acquiring this access token, we have the step two and in step two, we are passing, we are submitting that token to Azure Container Apps. And this is how you do it. We have to send a post request to this endpoint here. We have auth, login and the name of the provider. In this case, it's Google. The content type is application JSON and we are passing in this token here. We have the ID token and the access token that we got from Google. And as a response to this request, we're getting the access token from the Container Apps Authentication Middleware. And the third step is actually accessing the resources. So basically, as I've shown here, we can send a GET request and this should be basically the host of the container app. And then we have the HTTP path of the API. We need to pass in this header here, xzumo auth, and this should contain the authentication token that we have received from this authentication middleware. Now, if we go back to the previous slide, and this is the response that we received from the authentication middleware, we should use this token here as a header of the actual access request. Now that we understand how this flow works, let's actually do this using a sample application. This is the simple ASP.NET application that I have used in my previous video as well. As you can see, it has this simple ASP.NET uh, API controller. And when I send a GET request to it, it just returns the list of headers this request receives. I'm doing this because this is valuable for us to understand what goes on when we send these headers to our middleware and what our middleware sends to the actual application. And I have already published this using this script here. You can find this script down below if you want to try this out. Now let me go into Azure portal. As you can see, I'm in that resource group and we have the auth demo app. If I click on this URL here, as you can see, I can access the application, but now we are looking at APIs. So let me call the API slash values endpoint. As you can see, I'm getting the headers of the request. Now let me go back into authentication of Azure Container App. And now I'm gonna add Google as the identity provider. I'm gonna select Google here. 
All right, now let me add the client ID and the client secret. Now here, I'm gonna go with require authentication. I'm not going to allow any unauthenticated requests to access the API. And for unauthenticated requests, I'm gonna redirect the user to the recommended websites. In this case, it's Google. And next we have to set the scopes. We cannot set scopes for Google in this portal. I'm gonna add this identity provider. As you can see, I have successfully added Google as an identity provider. Now let me try to access the application I cannot access it, I'm getting redirected to Google. Now let's try to access the API as well. Yeah, that also doesn't work. And now it's time for us to perform the first step of our client directed flow. For that, I'm gonna use Postman. I'm gonna use this authorization step here to get the bearer token from Google. It's Auth2. Now if I scroll down, I have already added some uh, configuration that we need to get the access token. And as I said, we are going with this Pixie flow to get the access token. I have added this callback URL. This is the application that I have registered in Google Developer Console. And as you can see here, I have added the same here as well. Now let me go back into Postman and we have the auth URL and we have the access token URL as well. And we have my client ID and the client secret that I've got from Google Developer Console. And the code challenge method is SHA-256. And these are the scopes that I need now it's time for us to get the access token. For that, I'm gonna click on this button. Postman opens up this browser window and it orchestrates the whole auth flow. Since I have already logged into it, it just shows my username and email. I'm gonna click on it. Now Google is asking me whether I want to give access to this app. I'm gonna go with yes. Authentication is complete now. We can proceed. As you can see, we are receiving the access token and ID token. In addition to that, we are getting some other information as well. Now we have completed the first step of our auth flow and that is getting the token from this identity provider. Let's perform the step number two now. Now before going forward, let me keep this access token and the ID token in this notepad here. And now I'm opening a new tab. I have inserted the host name of our container app. Now let me go into documentation and get other required information to complete this step. Now I'm in the documentation page. Let me scroll down. We have the client directed sign in here. And this is how we submit the token as I've shown in my previous slides as well. Now let me copy this part of this URL here and then I'm gonna paste it in my Postman window. And since our IDP is not Azure AD, I'm gonna change this to Google. Now let me go back. And this should be the body of the request. Now let me go back and I'm gonna go into the body tab and I'm gonna go with row. And since this is a JSON, I'm gonna go with JSON. And here I have pasted the JSON that I've gotten from the documentation. I'm gonna paste the access token here, all right. And then I'm gonna paste the ID token in this. And now send a post request to this endpoint. Let's do it now. As you can see, we have gotten this 200 response and we have received the access token from container apps authentication middleware. And now we can use this access token to access our API. And before doing that, let me go into jwt.io and let's see what's inside this token. As you can see, it has some information about the issuer and the audience and issued at expiration time and the identity provider that we have used here. Now let me go back into Postman, open a new tab and let's try to access our API. Let me send a request. As you can see, I'm getting 401 unauthorized now let me go back into the previous tab and I'm gonna copy this access token. I've copied it and then I'm going into headers and then I'm gonna specify this custom token and that is X sumo auth. And then I'm gonna paste the token that I've copied and then let's try to send the request. As you can see, we are getting the response from the application and as I've shown earlier, these are the headers that our application receives. As you can see, it just forwards the XSumo header to our container app as well. And if I scroll down, we have all the other client principal information sent to our API as well. As I explained in my previous video, we can use this information for us to identify who the user is. And based on that, we can make further decisions. All right, now this is the end of this video. And in this video, I wanted to explain how client directed flow works with Azure container apps. If you have further questions or comments, please let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this soon and thanks for watching.